In Serena Hampton Dunn's 10th grade world history class at Gulf Coast High, she's creating student success through small group settings with her best practice, conversations in the pod. By arranging desks in a pod formation, she's encouraging students to dive deeper into conversations, providing her with the opportunity to assess their understanding of the material along the way. So if we were doing a DBQ and LEQ, you would have a prompt, and um, in this one, it's a very simple one, and it says, develop an argument that evaluates the causes of African and Asian imperialism in the 1750 to 1900 time period, okay? Now, what are we missing out of the thesis? If it's asking for a cause, what else do we need to do? An effect, which would give us a what on the exam, the complexity point, okay? So, when you do your thesis tomorrow, in my class, okay, because you guys will be writing, okay, this is under assignments, okay, so you'll do this, you'll type this out, all right, you must give me an effect, okay, you're going to have about 40 effects today, okay, <laughs> so you have plenty to pick from, okay, so my best practice is um, a, what's called conversations in the pods, um, basically what I am trying to address is, um, one, for them to have a conversation with each other, um, I feel that, you know, for AP students, they really... <laughs> can do the work by themselves and that's it. But um, for me, I feel like, you know, them having that conversation, it builds um, them to write because not always do kids have to write to get their point across. Um, I feel that if they are conversing with each other, then they're able to, um, with the, from one student to the other student, they're able to bounce off ideas from each other and then something that maybe another child didn't know or, or is like, oh, that's a great idea. And then, you know, then when they go to write, then they're able to see um, how, well, they, they structure their, their writing in a different way than when they first started off with me. I enjoy this class because it opens up learning from beyond simply learning and looking at content to collaborating and dissecting it carefully. In this class, I feel like we take it one step further, look into the content more thoroughly, bounce each other's ideas off of, each other, off of one another, and really examine everything. This class is a great class for my son and the other students because it expands their thinking outside of contemporary times. I think her best practice is amazing. It allows the students to get together and literally lift the words from the pages. By having students analyze the same questions and documents together, they're able to corroborate and contextualize the information through collaboration, improving their comprehension of the lesson. Alexia has definitely learned a lot from this class. She's both been able to keep up with the, the gruel of, the, of the, the intensity of the program. Um, she's been able to probably increase her rate of reading, her comprehension. She does well now with kind of being able to express her opinion in a group setting amongst her peers. And um, I think that's good. It gives us some life skills. I'm really happy that Coach Stone was selected for the Golden Apple just because she put so much work into us and really wants us to succeed. So majority, if not night, all of them, will go to college. And um, I remember being in college and I would have those study groups and you know we'd sit in a, in a room and then it was like, okay, who's gonna start? They can dive right in without having to feel that awkwardness, you know? And, um, and then they'll be able to ask those questions, you know, those high order questions that we've been doing here, they've also practiced that. So they'll be able to pull in other students to be able to have those conversations as well. By fostering student-led conversations centering around learning, Serena has improved her students' critical thinking and increased their knowledge with significant results. Whew, the goals were set very high for me <laughs> um, from, you know, from when I was wee young to all the way into college. Um, all I knew was excellence. I grew up, you know, you have to be, you have to do everything with 110%. There was no 100%. And so I think that carries over um, into my, um, into my teaching and even when the bell rings at the end of the day, I'm not done.